morning student today i am going to explain a supplementary lesson for second language english medium students the title of that lesson is narayanapur incident narayanapur incident this is the name of a place narayanapur it is a place in north india we know that india was controlled by british for many years so our ancestors they had struggled hard to get freedom we know that many national cities were arrested in the past by the british government so due to their sacrifice we got freedom in this lesson also we can understand we can see the sufferings made by a family during that period the title is narayana poor incident here in this lesson we can see some characters the persons who have made some sacrifice during those period during that period we can understand their name we can see you should remember their name first so you will be able to write the answer during the exam you can expect three marks questions or three or four marks question from this lesson since it is a supplementary you can expect three marks at least so you should remember the character so you should remember the name of the people first first one you can see mohan is 18 years old then babu 12 years old and sister their sister manju 11 years old then one more person name you should understand i mean character that means patte 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 this is sub inspector so this lesson is related to this people this people here we are already understood we have studied in this history that the quit india movement quit india movement was taken place in the year of 1942 you have heard in history in indian history that quit india quit means to leave india british should should be leave india so it was a resolution passed by the congress under the leadership of mahatma gandhi so they made a slogan they passed their resolution the british should the british government should be quit or the british government should be leave india so it was passed it was started in the year of 1942 many people our ancestors many freedom fighters they took part in this fight so they were arrested also by the british government they have already captured and they were put into prison or jail and after that they made many sufferings so here also a teacher in a village he was an ardent or he was a follower of mahatma mahatma gandhi ji he also took part in this struggle so what happened he was arrested by the police and put into prison so i say against his arrest some agitation was already organized by students of the schools and colleges moreover you can see that the, the children of this teacher in the village they were also very active in the freedom struggle i told you they were very active in the freedom struggle okay, we can see that here they started in a, they began to start an agitation against this arrest and they started an agitation and they raised this slogan against the british government so this mohan babu and manju they are not these are this lesson is related to these people so one day they started their procession so mohan and babu and manju this babu and manju they are rushed out from the house and they wanted to see that procession procession was coming so they were watching so they mohan was also very active in that he wore a pyjama and then cream colored shirt mohan wore a cream colored shirt and pyjama they were very active so they and 
after they saw that the procession was coming, the police was also standing at the gate. But the procession, they decided to start the procession in a peaceful manner. They did not start any agitation or violence because they have already understood that if they had started agitation or violence, immediately the British people would come and they would be catch them and they would be arrested and they would put into prison. So in order to avoid that thing, they started the processions very silently. They shouted the slogan against the British government and kicked India. And moreover, they were holding the photo of Mahatma or Mahatma Gandhi, you know, that father of our nation. They were holding the photo of Mahatma Gandhi. So they were coming. After that, they gave a notice to the collector. They served or they gave a, or they have ended up a letter, a notice to the collector who was the representative of uh, British, British government. So the police asked some questions to them. They replied. They wanted to inform that they were also taking part in the freedom struggle movement or they also raised against the British government. But Manju and Babu, they were also very active. But some, this Mohan's attitude was somewhat different. He did not like to start the procession in a peaceful manner. He wanted to make some agitation violently. He did not like the a way or the method of this silence because he was, his, act, his attitude was somewhat different. He wanted to make a strong agitation and he wanted to make a violent agitation against the British government. That was what he, he kept in his mind. So anyway, after that, the police also uh, came back and Manchu and once they were, asked, they were watching this. Uh, but after that, what happened? Uh, Suman Suman was a college mate of this Mohan and Abbas. Suman and this Babu and Manchu, suddenly they came to Mohan's house after taking dinner. They came by carrying a cyclostyling machine, cyclostyled machine. That machine, was, that, machine, that machine was already covered with papers. It was completely wrapped or it was already covered with paper. Cyclostyling machine was carried by these people and they wanted to keep in their room and moreover they wanted to take the, some seroscopy or photosynthetic copies of Mahatma Gandhi. So cyclostyling machine was already carried. So they came suddenly they came to Moin's house because they wanted to hand over that thing to Moin's house. So Amma gave permission to keep it in the puja room. They took it in that puja room, they kept it in that cyclostyling machine in that puja room. They kept that machine in the puja room. So, what happened is that Babu and Manchu, they were cut as a, or they were appointed as, they were appointed to guard, as a guard or security. They were directed to, to give signals whenever. Whenever, in case, in case they saw any, any persons standing at the gate, they were directed to give signals. They were appointed or they were directed to give signals if they, or if they see any persons or if they see any person standing at the gate. So firstly, Babu came. Babu came and informed that one person was coming, one person was standing there. So immediately, all were upset. They already, they tried, the wick of the lamp was already lowered, the wick of the lamp, the lamp, that means that the string, the string of that, the cotton string of that lamp is called the wick of that lamp. Because they understood that Babu, was, Babu has already given direction that one person was standing at the gate. So they thought that it was a spy or it was a British police. So what happened is, the wick in olden days, you know, there is no electricity, uh, they used the lamp. So the wick of that lamp was already lowered when Babu told that one person was standing outside. So that person came and asked some questions. So uh, really speaking, Mohan and others suspected that person. They told that they thought that he was a police sub-inspector, but he was a he was favoring or he was a well-wisher of their family because 
That's the bin fact his name was Patel, I told you. His name was Patel. You should remember his word, Patel. Patel came to his house because he wanted to inform that on that day night other people will come because he has heard something from his sahib or British, uh, British uh, people, British inspector. They had a plan, the British the British people had a plan, the British police had a plan to raid their house because they had got information that they are making photosynthetic copy by using that cyclostaining machine. So they thought definitely, they informed that definitely British police people will come and they will take that cyclostaining machine and photosynthetic copies of the Gandhi speech. So Amma believed that the sub-inspector of Patel, because he was very uh, close to that family. Patel showed some help because Mohan's father, he was the classmate of Mohan's father. He was the classmate of Mohan's father. Moreover, uh, Patel was given many help by Mohan's father. Mohan's father had already given many help to sub-inspector Patel. So, in, just in order to show some gratitude, uh, Patel came and informed that on the same night itself some police officer will come and they will seize or they will take away that cyclostaining machine and other photosynthetic copies of that Mahatma Gandhi's speech. So he told to take him, he told that I am taking this cyclostaining machine, after that I will return back, otherwise British people will come and they will take, you will be arrested. So Amma had already uh, given that machine and other uh, copies of photosynthesis, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's speech, uh, the uh, photosynthesis copies of that speech was already given to him and he went. Immediately after his departure, uh, immediately after his departure, and other police came, other police officers came, they knocked at the door. So they had already understood, they had already anticipated that uh, British police would come. So they were ready to give some answer. So Amma and others told reply. They just searched, but they could not see anything. They did not see anything. After that, they left. So it shows that the timely, uh, the timely work, or the uh, the sacrifice, the sacrifice made by that Patel, even though he was a sub-inspector, he was very favored to Indians, and moreover, he was favoring to get the freedom. Only by the only for that purpose, Patel had already informed. So in this place, we can understand that the, the timely interference of that sub-inspector Patel had already saved that family. Otherwise, they would uh, they would be in prison. The British police would have taken them and they would have taken them under custody and they would be put into prison or jail. The timely activity, the very active work of the timely interference of that sub-inspector Patel had already saved the life of that family. It shows that even though some people worked in British police, some were favored to our Indians. They already favored to get the freedom for India. But some of these were already, they, paid, they, just, they did not show any affection to Indians. It is, it is the story. I will explain, I will read that lesson and after that uh, you should read, you should open your textbook and you should listen. Then after that I will explain some question answers also. Then after a few days you can expect, uh, you can download the question, uh, question answers. You take your uh, textbook first. Narayana Port Incident. It is written by Shashi Despande. Shashi Despande. Shashi Despande. The year is 1942. The time of Pit India movement. The time of Quit India movement. A teacher in a small town, a follower, a follower of Gandhi, has been arrested. His elder son, 
18 year old Mohan and his college friends, including Suman, believe in a different form of resistance to the British. His younger son, Babu, aged 13, and daughter Manju, two years younger, are also keen to participate in this struggle against the British. I told you that Fit India movement was started in the year of 1942. They also took part in this freedom struggle. Here we can see one for I'm reading. The year is 1942, the time of the Quit India movement. A teacher in a small town, a follower of Gandhiji, has been arrested. His elder son, 18 years old, Mohan, and his college friends, including Suman, believe in a different form of resistance to the British. The college, Suman was the college friend of Mohan. Both Suman and Mohan believed the resistance of Indians in another way. They did not like the they did not like this type of silence. They did not like this type of peace for peace. They wanted to make agitation in another form. They did not like the method followed by Indians against the British. So in that, you know that a teacher was an ardent or a teacher was a follower of Mahatma. Their children. One is Mohan, Babu and Manchu. These three were his children, the, the teacher's children, the name of teacher's children, the Mohan, Babu and Manchu. Are you coming Manchu? Babu asked. Coming where? Said Manchu. Even as the brother and sister were talking, they heard medical words. They are coming. They are coming. The children, like this, rushed out, heedless. That means, heedless means they, there was rain. But even then, they did not mind. There was little rain, but even then, they did not mind. That's called heedless. That means unmindful, heedless. Are you coming, Manju? Babu asked. Coming there, said Manju. Even as the brother and sister were talking, they hear the medical words, they are coming, they are coming. The children like others rushed out, heedless of the rain. Policemen now appeared all along the road. Some of them walked in front of the students, some by their sides, but the students marched as if the police did not exist. They walked in complete silence. There were no slogans, no shouts, just the shuffle of feet, the drip of rain and low murmur from the watching crowd. Firstly, are you coming, Manju? Babu asked. Babu asked Manju, Babu, Manju, are you coming? Because that procession, they are coming. So the students were coming. At that time, the police were already stationed. They have, the police have already placed here and there. But the students did not mind the police. They did not mind their existence or their presence without any fear. They were marching. They did not mind little rain or there was little there. They did not mind that rain also. They were coming. Some of them walked in front of the students. Some by their side. Some police stood before the students. Some stood by their side. But the students did not mind the presence of that police. Babu and Manchu looked eagerly for Mohan. Yes, there he was. Dressed in white pajamas and cream colored shirt. With another boy. Both holding aloft a picture of Mahatma. Babu and Manju noticed that Mohan was also standing, Mohan was also there. Mohan was also there in that procession. He wore a uh, cream colored shirt and pyjamas also he wore. Babu and Manju looked eagerly for Mohan. Yes, there he was, dressed in white pyjama and cream colored shirt. He wore white pyjama and cream colored shirt. Mohan wore white pajama and cream colored shirt with another boy both holding a look a picture of the Mahatma another boy was already he was holding the picture of Mahatma Mahatma Gandhi their aim their arms must have ached holding it up the way for so long but their faces were expressionless now the ladies of the procession Suman was one of them they saw in excitement had away to the barred gates. They barred the gates. A police officer, he was the DSP. 
Mohan told them, later came up to them. There was some conversation between him and the students. So Suman was also there. Suman was their college mate. So they were going to the near that gate, but the gate was already barred or blocked or resisted by the police. So they made a conversation with the police. Now the ladies of the procession, Suman, Suman was one of the ladies of the procession. They saw in, ex in excitement had reached the barbed gate, the police officer was a VSP. Mohan told them, later came up to them, there was some conversation between him and the students. So the police officer made a conversation, they talked something to the students. They talked something to the students, because the students wanted to inform their intention or desire or their, their decision which they took. The students seemed to be arguing, the rain had lessened now, and the police officer took off his hat and ruffled it. That means the police officer took his hat and they behaved in an arrogant manner. Ruffled, arrogant, in a rude manner. Ruffled means behave arrogantly. Ruffled. Behave rudely or arrogantly is called ruffled. Once he laughed, showing all his teeth, but the students remained serious. One of them handed him a piece of paper. He took it without glancing at it and noticed the students turned their backs on him and one of them shouted. So the students seemed to be arguing. The students, they argued with the police. The police once they tried to smile, but the students did not mind. The students did not mind whether he smiled or not. Once the police officer tried to smile, but the students did not take care. They behaved in an arrogant manner or in a rude manner. Once he laughed, showing all his teeth, but the students remained serious. One of them handed him a piece of paper. He took it out without. Once one of the leaders gave a piece of paper to the police, but he did not look it seriously. He did not read or he did not look it. The students turned their backs on him and one of them shouted it. Mahatma Gandhi did they are shouted back loudly and then briskly marched back the way they had come. So they were very active. They just shouted, they raised this slogan. They raised this slogan. The slogan, what was the slogan? Mahatma Gandhi ji ki ji. The others also followed. They also shouted. He is that all. Manju asked in disappointment, what else did you want? A dance, a drama? Babu asked his country. Nevertheless, he understood their feeling and asked Mohan the same question when he returned home. Why did you go back so quietly? They are scared of what the police would do. Is that all? Manju asked him disappointment. Manju did not like their attitude. I told you in the beginning that Manju did not like. She also wanted to make a violent protest. That the method of resistance was not accepted by Manju. Because some, I told you, some students, they liked it to make a violent protest. They wanted to make a resistance in a violent manner. A drama, Babos, what else did you want? You should remember that uh, sentence. What else did you want? A dance order of Babu asked this thing. Manju asked, it is not only this thing. What is it? They have only, they came, they came by marching. They gave a letter to uh, the police. Is it enough only? Then you are going back, you are not doing any further stuff, you are not doing any education again. That time Babu, a dance, a drama, Babu asked his country. Babu told that what we should do, shall we play a drama? Because if you are doing violently, if you are doing anything in a violent manner, definitely the police would take into custody, they would arrest us. Nevertheless, he understood their feeling and asked Mohan the same question when he returned. Mohan also asked the same thing. He also did not believe the silent method. Why did you go back so quietly? Where you scared of what the police? The police would not, police won't do anything. While you are returning back, they asked again. Mohan seemed immensely pleased with herself, scared. Not in the least. We had planned it in this way. We knew they would stop us at the gate. We knew they expected us to protest and be violent. Oh yes. They wanted us to do 
that so that they could beat us beat us up and haul us away to jail but we are not prepared to go to jail not as yet anyway not until we have given them much more trouble and so we decided we would give them no chance at all what was the point then bow off while manju listened earnestly a thing cupped in her hands it is like a declaration of war we have told them this is war for us and you are the enemy you don't stop a war without first declaring your intention do you again mohan seemed immensely and pleased to himself scared then then they asked you you are you are you are here to the police mohan replied no we are we are not scared because they made it deliberately they wanted to they just told they behaved in an arrogant manner they thought that we would be we would become violent they wanted to become violent if we are meeting violence if we are uh, doing some violent mistake what the british the police will do they will come and they will arrest us and they will put us in a jail you don't like to go to jail now lastly what that manju is listened earnestly her king kapri in her hand it is like a declares what manju do manju do, uh, uh, made a strong declaration but means a declaration of war he did like this by showing his hand that means uh, king kapri in her like this king kapri in her hand this is a, it is a phrase king kapri he made a declaration a firm declaration uh, to get some courage uh, by uh, doing like this thing. that is a, it is a phrase king cap king kapri in her hand it is like a declaration of war we have told them this is a war for us and you are the enemy they told us we will do war against like this she has shown an action like this that's a phrase king kapri unless your adolf hitler unless your adolf hitler amma who had been quietly listening to them said it is small smile right which we are not so that is how it was and what was that paper you gave the policeman so we should become like adolf hitler otherwise nobody will mind they told that is the notice served upon the collector as a representative of his majesty's government asking them to keep in their or face the consequence they served a paper to the collector or they had handed over a paper to the collector or they gave a paper they gave a notice to the collector because they have already mentioned that if the british government is not leaving this country we will start a dissolution they will have to face consequences in future that was the uh, that was the content in that letter collector was the representative of the Uh, British government. So they gave, they served that letter to the collector. Suman and another boy turned up after they had finished their dinner that night. The boy staggered in with a large newspaper covered parcel in his hands. Got it? One of them, his voice tense with excitement. Yes, lot of trouble though. That's all. I take it. Here, yeah. let me help you. My room. Okay, Amma. Now I think Pooja room is better. A light there will look more normal. Right as usual, Amma. The Pooja room there. The big... The boy went away after a whispered conversation with Suman. Then Suman, Amma and Mohan went into the small Pooja room. Babu and Manju stared curiously over their shoulders at the mysterious parcel which it turned out to be Cyclos Diving Machine. So at that time I told you that was a notice server on the collector. So many and another boy turned up after they had finished their dinner that night. Suddenly, after, ta- after taking dinner, they went to Moen's house, Moen's place. They wanted to keep their cyclostaring machine to some, some other place. The boy staggered in with an order, newspaper covered up. It was covered with the newspaper. That cyclostaring machine was covered with the newspaper. Where shall I take it? Here, let me help you. My room. Okay, Amma. So Amma told that you can keep in that puja room. So it was kept in that puja room. That I was staying missing was kept in the puja room. Right, as you said Amma, the puja room then, the boy went away after a whispered conversation with the woman. They made a conversation and after that, it, that machine was kept in the puja room. Then Suman, Amma and Moan went, went in the small puja room. Babu and Manju started curiously over their stroll days. 
as a mysterious parcel which turned out to be a psycho sailing machine. It was very secret because they have already taken very secretly because they know that if the British government has already understood this thing, definitely they would come and they would be arrested. All of them will be arrested. Babu, Mohan said as they settled down to work, sit out in the friend room. Mohan told that Babu, you should be sitting in the friend room and you should be see outside in case anybody, any stranger is coming and standing near that gate, you should be inform that matter to others. Room and keep it, give us a warning if anyone seems to be coming to our house. Manju, go to bed or else he went on, notice here, crestfallen face, just like this. You sit here in the hall and pass on Babu's warning to us. He told that Mam Ma Manchu and Babu, they were uh, just, they were deputed, they were directed to, to watch as a, to, they were directed to uh, work as a guard. If any stranger is coming, they should give warning to another person and that person should give warning to others. Babu and Manchu, they were sitting in the friend room. They were directed to keep watch. In case anybody, any stranger comes in the, near the gate, immediately Babu uh, and Manju should inform others. Babu sat outside, alert and attentive, was very attentive, very active, attentive, very careful. He felt a thickening in his throat, it was beginning, and at last he was doing something. What a pity, Gopia, Murali and others would never know about perhaps something. He checked himself and kept his eyes and mind on the road outside, it was deserted. In a little while, the 9 o'clock siren went off. Babu thought for the first time that the day of the war being fought all over the world. And suddenly, coming out of his reverie, he tensed a man riding a bike got off and stopped right outside their gate. But it was only to light a cigarette, it seemed. Babu could see the mast flaring, then match flaring. Then the glow in front of the man's face, the small point of light moved as the man got on his bike and rode away. One more bike, Babu flung himself inside Manju tent. He started to face on him something, someone is coming. So immediately what happened, a person was standing there, he saw the uh, light uh, because he was lit in the cigarette, a bike reached there, they became suspicious. So after that they got in the bike and one person was coming and immediately they gave warning to others. Bob, Manju and Babu gave warning to others. There was silence from inside the puja room. Their faces looked at him blankly. The dim light giving them a particular peculiar look. Shadows quivered. That means trembled. Quivered means trembled. Quivered. Trembled. Then Amma got up and came out followed by Mohan. So many stayed inside and Mohan closed the door of the room. Manju got to bed. Babu, you too. Amma came and Mohan also came out. Because of course the person was coming. There was a knock at the door. There was a knock at the door. Babu rushed to his room, unrolled his bedroll and threw it in the phone. A knock again. Who are there? Amma called out. Knock, knock. Mohan, go and see who it is. Manju had got into the bedroom. 22, notice that though Amma's voice was steady, her hands trembled. Mohan came in saying Amma is Patel, the sub inspector. Amma held Manju's hand in a tight, hateful clutch, though her voice was still cool and calm. What does he want? He wants to talk to you, to me. He, the hand relaxed. Manju drew her own hand back and rubbed it softly. So Mohan came. And he saw that Patel was there. He told that matter to Amma. Then Patel called them and said something in a low voice. I have not come to trouble you. A strange voice said, Your husband was my friend in a school. My friend. Amma got up quickly and went out. Manju waited and the moment and followed her. There was Babu coming out of his room, making a show of having been woken out of the deep sleep, rubbing up his eyes yawning loudly and repeatedly, mumbling in a grumpy voice, who is it, who is it, but nobody paid him any attention and soon Baba was taking in everything with great security. Patel came, Patel they were trembled, they were quivering, for they trembled. But they understood that it was Patel, Patel thought, 
started the himself, but then told that I came not for not for troubling you because I was one of the friend of your father. I cannot come to trouble you, a strange voice said, your husband was my friend. But they told Amma that your husband was one of my boss, he was my college mate and I I was his friend. I am a friend. Amma got up quickly and went out. Mandu waited a moment and followed her. There was Babu coming out of his room, making a show of having been woken up deep, deep sleep, his eyes yawning loudly and repeatedly, mumbling in a grumpy voice, who is it? But nobody paid him any attention and soon Babu was taking in everything with the greatest curiosity. They were very curious what Patel was saying. They were very curious to understand or they were very curious to hear what Patel was going to say. The man was really a police officer. He did not look like one in his dinghy clothes. He was saying to Amma, yes, we were in school together. Oh, yes, he was far above me. He was a scholar and I was one of the junsers. He always helped me. God knows how often I would have been clean but for him, please. But tell sorry, Amma said rather impatiently, tell me why you are here. It's like this. Suddenly the man was brisk and business-like. He slammed swept over all of them, taking them all in truly. Certainly, this man was no dunes. That means dunes means he was not a fool or stupid. That is called dunes. There's going to be a search in your house then. So, the, firstly, they did not believe. After that, Amma asked, why you came? What is the purpose of your arrival? You tell. He told that you don't, worry, you don't have any uh, fear because I was very close to your husband. He was very intelligent boy at that time. He helped me in many ways. So I am always thankful to you. So I came here to inform a matter which was planned by other Sahib, other police. That is why I came. Most probably tonight, that means today night, I heard the Sahib talking. They were speaking of a cyclone sailing machine. It seems you people are making copies of Mahatma Gandhi's speech. They say you have people hiding here as well. Because I, I heard the voice of my Sahib. They decided to come here and they decided to take that uh, cyclo sailing machine from you. Because they understood that you were taking photos at the copies and you were distributing others. You were distributing the Mahatma Gandhi speech. You, are, you were distributing the copies of Mahatma Gandhi speech. So they will come and they will raid, they will make a raid. So I came to inform that matter in advance. So it is better for you to give to me, I will keep somewhere. Ha, ah, more scuffled. That means mob. Mocked really, actually mocked. But you have the cyclo sailing machine. No, more repeated angrily. You are wasting time spying on us. Tell me. The man ignored Mohan and spoke to Amma. Yes, Amma replied simply, and Mohan made an angry hissing sound. Where is it? Amma, you have gone inside. Manju's heart began beating wildly. Why was Amma giving them a win? Give it to me. I will get it out of the way. You can have it when it is safe. Mohan squeezed out again. Amma, what are you doing? How can you trust the policeman? Manju and Mohan did not believe that police, but then, because anyway, in those days, most of the police officers, they always supported the British, British government. So, Manju and Mohan did not believe. But Amma believed last. Amma thought that he would not cheat. Mohan and Manju told her, why you are giving this machine to him? Because he is a police officer. We should not believe a police officer because they will be always favor to British government. But Amma believed, trusted him. The man touched Mohan on the shoulder. Mohan, you are still very young. There are many things you don't understand. I am a policeman. Yes, but your father was and still is my friend. And this is my country. As much as it you is. Now give it to me quickly. They may come any moment. Amma opened the door of the puja room and said, Suma. Suma emerged, wiping her face with her sari, looking anxiously, looking anxiously at them. Coming. Amma beckoned to them. It is there. Suman started at Amma and the man in bewilderment. Amma smiled at her and said to her, What to get away, Suman? Take away all that materials, more and believe. Amma trusted them and then told 
in the Jaitya stepped in the puja room and they took it and gave to uh, police officer Patel. Mohan stabbed at Tamma, uh, at Suman and finally at Patel, was stabbed. Uh, Patel told that, you can believe me, they will come at any time. As far as, po as, early as, pos as early as possible, you give that uh, you can believe. Then moreover, Patel told Mohan, Mohan, you are very, you are very young. You don't know what is our relation. You, you, you don't know what is my relation with your father. Just one of my close friends. I am also favoring you. I also want to get the freedom. I am a police officer, I am admitting. But even then, you should believe me. I am favoring you. Because definitely at any time, other police will come and they will make a raid. So you don't, you don't mistrust me. You can trust me. After that, Amma just gave. And they gave, they took it from the puja room and they gave it to Patel. Mohan stared at Amma. I summons and finally at Patel was stared. Okay, Amma. Mohan said and ducked. That means bowed. Mohan, after understanding this thing, Mohan just gave a respect. Ducked, bowed into the puja room. He legged. He legged the machine. That means it dragged. Legged means dragged. He took that machine. Machine was cut in the puja room. So he wanted to give it to the Patel. So he legged or dragged machine out and give it to Patel. Do you have a largest bag with you? The man asked Manju. Amma began. But Babu had already got. That's fine. So police officer told you, please give me a big, big bag. Then only I can, and of course I can put it in that bag. And then they were gone, Patel, Mohan and Suman. The house seemed unbelievably quiet after the earlier intense activity. Let us go to bed, Amma suggested. Mohan came back shortly, Suman, Manju asked him anxiously. Uh, she's all right. So Patel went after getting, after taking that uh, cyclosailing machine and other papers. Go to bed, Manju. Amma said that the police are about to come. Then uh, I want to go to bed because the Patel told that uh, other police will come. So shall I go to bed? But nevertheless, she did drop off at some time and came out of her sleep with a jerk to hear a loud knock at the door. She was about to start sleep at that time, jerking or not. The police, another police came and they knocked at the door. It was repeated. Manchu sat, sat up in sudden fright. Amma patted there comfortingly. Who is it? She asked loudly. Open the door. The police came and they knocked, they knocked at the door. So they awakened. Amma shouted loudly, who is it? Who is knocking at the door? Open the door. A strange voice ordered. Mohan, see who it is. Amma said, it was like going through something all over again. But this, this time they knew for sure it was not a friend standing out there. No need for Mohan to announce. Amma, it is police. So really, they opened that door. After that, they understood that it was a real police officer and they came with the search warrant also. He was having a search warrant because he got the power to search all the rooms. He came with the intention of taking that cyclosailing machine from that house because they, they had already got prior information about their secret plan. So they came to take that cyclosailing machine from that house. So they took a search warrant also. That is the end of the story. So it shows that some police officers, even though they worked under the British government, they have shown some favor to our Indians. They also wished to get independence for our country. But there are some other British police. They did not like they were very rude to Indians also. It is the end of the story. I will give some question and says and I will explain again. First one, why were, why were Babu and Manju a bit disappointed with the way the students were marching? Babu and the Manju were not satisfied with that march. What was the reason? Why Babu and Manju did not satisfy with their march? Because they were coming by racing slogans. But Babu and Manju, they expected a violent march. They wanted a resistance, not in a silent manner. They wanted to make a violent march. That was what they expected. 
so they were disappointed because the students and the procession was coming in a very silent manner without having any violence violence why did the children rush out of the house they rushed out of the house because they wanted to see that march march was coming or procession the procession or students march was coming so they wanted to see that march from outside so they rushed out from that house what did the children see outside they saw that babu they saw mohan and all of these suman and all of these were there they, they were raising slogans uh, against the british government and moreover they were holding the picture of mahatma gandhi also how did the students lead is manage the protest why did they do so how did the students lead manage the protest the students lead did not to do any education they came but they were completely surrounded by the police they were objected or they were prevented by the police the police stood here and there but they did not do any education they gave they served or they gave a notice uh, to the collector before that they gave a paper paper slip to the police they did not but even though the police made in an arrogant even though the police behaved in a rough manner the students leader did not use any violence they did not adopt any violent methods they were very calm or cool why did the suman come into mohan's house why did the why did the suman come into mohan's house suman came into mohan's house because they wanted they wanted to keep a cyclo styling machine in mohan's house they wanted to keep a cyclo styling machine in mohan's house they used that cyclo styling machine to take photocopy copies of mahatma's speech let's see end of this lesson uh, you should read thoroughly and after that if you are ended up you can make comments Uh, after a few days you will get notes also now i have stopped thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe